isn't that really, really nice? Hello everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to talk about this awesome tool. Whether you are teaching remotely or face-to-face, -face, I think this is a great tool to um, manage your classroom, some different protocols and habits, and really to calm your students. Um, this is a great way to start a class, whether it's remote or in person. Um, it kind of gets everybody grounded. Maybe you have them doing a bell ringer or something at the beginning that they need to be doing to prepare. You would put that in your instructions right here. But um, so I'm just going to go through all the little widgets here that's available to you in classroomscreen.com. Um, it's free and it's wonderful. So I'm actually going to click out of every little thing that I've got going on here. By the way, um, I do have, I'm going to leave this up here just a second just to, to show you, but that's just a YouTube video that I, I made really, really small and stuck in the corner for that calming music. All right. So this is called classroomscreen.com and it's just a great classroom management tool. So I'm going to go through each one of these. Um, and so the first one here is your background available. And isn't this nice, this animation? This, so they've added this, um, these animated backgrounds, which are really cool. So you've got several of those down here to choose from. Ooh, I'm going to check out the autumn. But it just takes a, a few moments to load those scenes up. And they're just loops. And uh, there's one in particular. Oh. Let me I want to show you this one because it kind of shows you the loop here. It's a little spider. You can see the spider webs, which is really cool. But you see this little spider traveling on a web here. And you can see that thing. It's probably, what, about a four second loop here. So it's just a loop of, um, of a video and just made a, a small um, GIF as your animated background, which is really cool. Um, so you've got several of those to choose from, and you have all of these scenes here too. Um, you can also add your own photos, which is really cool. So nice, calming. Um, let me try let's to go back to the beach scene, which is kind of nice. All right. Then you have a random name picker. Um, you are able to move any of these things around, uh, by the way. So you would just put in um, the names of your students here, just um, each line is a different name and you can choose. So it looks like you can have up to 100 students, which is great. Um, you have a uh, rolling the dice. So you have one, two or three dice. And every time you click it, it's going to roll it again. Very cool. Sound level. Now you do have to have a microphone, which I will allow here. And as long as your microphone is running, um, then it will keep track of the noise. So if you have your microphone somewhere in your room, it's going to pick up on the noise and you will um, mark what you want, the maximum noise or the sensitivity to the noise. And if it goes beyond that, if you have this turned on, it will ring, the, ring a bell. So kind of a, it's just a simple classroom management tool that says, hey, too loud <laughs> and you don't have to keep doing it over and over again which is great media um i had um, a youtube video that i put in over here for music and i just made it really really small and then also for webcam if you turn that on then it's going to use your camera to put you on the screen and you can make that as big as you want to you can actually go full screen if you want to so this is great for remote or if um, you're sharing the screen with remote and face-to-face, -face, it's a really good way to, to put yourself out there. So that's the webcam, um, in addition to putting an image up or a YouTube video. Um, I currently have one YouTube video, so it says I still have that one out. It's gonna keep track. You'll see the notifications on what you're using. QR code. This has been one of my favorites for a long time. This is so cool that I can turn any website 
into this uh, QR code. So if I put in WFAA.com and I'll put a www just in case, and then it, whatever this is, um, so they just have to scan right now. I just put whatever website I want up there and then they scan it and it will go right to that website. So it's just an immediate um, generator for a QR code. Very, very cool. Draw tool, obviously you're able to, to draw all over this. I can make this bigger as well, um, but you're able to draw there very easily if you need to do that quickly. And you also have a text box as well. So my work symbols is just um, different uh, symbols for their behavior that you're expecting. So silence, so you just have this on the screen, you can make it big. Um, this is whisper, ask a neighbor, and work together. So another classroom management option for you so you don't have to always be saying something you can have it up there on your screen and it is um, showing your expectations also a traffic light so your traffic light you can set to um, you know you can have expectations mentioned ahead of time that red just means no talking or yellow means quiet or green you may work with your partners or with your table so it's kind of nice to have that up there for you. Um, and then a timer. Obviously, I had a timer at the beginning. This was giving the students a very calm and easy way to know how much time was left before we went to the next activity. So you can um, have a little timer sound at the end of that. So you have a lot of different things to choose from here. You do have a stopwatch just kind of nice. And you have a clock, which is showing the current time. Um, I do like the analog clock. A lot of our students don't know how to read analog, so kind of like that option up there, but you do have settings as well. And you can change all of um, the things going on here. So obviously it's green right now, you can change that as well. Okay, and then the calendar, which is, is kind of nice. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And you can just look at the calendar when you're practicing. And again, you have settings here. So most of these do have settings that go along with it. And you can hide this whole bar by just clicking on that arrow and then you can get the bar back. Um, I kind of like just looking at the water. That's kind of nice. So um, I just wanted to quickly go through those all those different little widgets. Um, the possibilities really are endless with this tool. It's a very simple tool um, and you can do things um, immediately, whether drawing or text instructions or QR code to send them to a different website or YouTube video or putting yourself on the screen. It is a great tool to manage the behaviors and the expectations in your classroom as well as help along with the um, instructions. So I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions and let me know how you use it in your classroom. Hope you have a great day.